You know, at a show like AUVSI Exponential here in Dallas, about a minute into any conversation about drones, you're going to hear the term BOSS or BBOSS, and it means beyond visual line of sight. And everyone in the industry agrees that until drones are operated to beyond line of sight, the industry is going to be stuck in first gear. But to get that kind of endurance and range, electric motors probably aren't going to work. It's going to take hydrocarbon engines or hybrids. We looked at a couple of them here at the show. Um, at LaunchPoint Technologies, we've been developing hybrid uh, power sources and power systems for manned and unmanned vehicles. And right now we're here focused on the, uh, the unmanned vehicles. Um, this, is, this is a hybrid uh, power supply for about six kilowatts. And so this can run a relatively large uh, UAV or even larger fixed wing aircraft. Um, our, our primary piece is the, it's a dual Halbach axial flux uh, uh, motor, it's generator, and it's uh, the most efficient way to use the neodymium magnet, so it's, it's light yet uh, very powerful. Um, and this combined with some of the other technologies that we're working on, and the goal is for uh, you know, long endurance, safe and reliable flights. Um, as, as as we continue to go on through developing the different products for customers like the NASA, the Air Force, and Navy, um, there's a, a host of pieces that are basically smart components for the for the grid. Because in essence, this is this is providing power to a grid, and that grid is complicated when you have multiple electric machines on it. Um, and so we're we're incorporating things that would look at motor performance. Um, and, and in a uh, uh, predictive way to understand when your vehicle needs to be serviced, when things are going wrong, as well as how to uh, adjust to you know faults. So if you have a motor out, this fails, engine the engine stops running. You know what does your control system do uh, to land? So we're, not only are we looking at you know the hybrid power source and the electric distribution, but really it's kind of a system wide. Uh, architecture and, and looking for safe and reliable uh, vehicles. So this is the Northwest 44 propulsion system. It's designed from the ground up uh, to be a, a, a UAV propulsion system. It's aviation grade. We designed it so that airframers could uh, just choose a propulsion system that's off the shelf and, uh, and they could uh, incorporate it into their aircraft very rapidly. They don't have to spend the hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars developing a propulsion system for, for each aircraft that they deliver. So now it really shortens the time, uh, time to market for someone who's developing a new airframe, somebody who's looking to upgrade their airframe. It's a, um, it's, it's a very quick option, it's a very easy option, it's a, a simple interface, um, simple to get the fuel, fuel interface, um, it has um, plenty of uh, payload power. Um, it's designed for aircraft fi fixed wing in the um, 50 to 55, uh, up to 70 pound gross takeoff weight range. So to talk about the technicals of it, uh, th this is a uh, two-stroke spark ignited heavy fuel engine. We have uh, twin spark ignition. Again, that's aviation grade. It's mandated uh, in, in, the, in the FAR regulations. Um, it's designed to be uh, FAA compatible, FAR 21 compliant, um, all of the mechanics. Uh, it has a 250 watt usable to the end user payload power, um, very lightweight generator. We regulate that power, it's uh, 28 volts, 12 volts, and 5 volt systems, um, so we can uh, simplify that. We have an uh, engine control unit, it's full authority digital engine controller, and an ECU. The ECU is, uh, is mounted in this component puck with the ignition systems and the generator regulators so that uh, it can be remoted uh, if, if you, you want to move the center of gravity, you want to move the mass around, or um, you can leave it here and keep it very modular. It has uh, two different ways of, uh, of preheating it from cold start, so you can either use um, a propane type of uh, injection, you can inject direct, directly into the throttle body, a very easy modular connection, or you can plug it into electrical power and uh, preheat the engine that way, and then of course it's a, it's a bump start to get the engine actually actually spinning. Uh, we have a very ultra quiet muffler system. It's also ultra lightweight system. Um, so the quiet muffler is key to most, uh, most UASs are, are, are really concerned about noise, their, their customers. We have, we've generated a, a muffler that will, will only generate 
um, noise usually less than the propeller noise, up to 10 decibels less than the propeller noise that's on the system. We'll see in front of us the newest development of our uh, engine type. It's a 180cc rotary engine, which is water and oil cooled, has a starter generator on board and has uh, 20 kW and an extra boost power for starting uh, when you can double the the starter generator using it for lifting you can add up an 8 kW additionally for 40 to 45 seconds. Uh, it's small and compact you can use it on a VTOL basis you can use it on a fixed wing basis or even on a helicopter uh, depends on application depends on design or just for generating the power as well so you don't even need to put on a propeller so it's not a typical hybrid you can also get rid of uh, the generator but then you also lose the starting capability so we see, said okay we want to have a complete propulsion system designed where you just press a start and the engine starts uh, or shuts off and the positive side effect is to have a, uh, some electrical power generator uh, besides our normal rotary Wankel engine. The rotary, or uh, the positive or the, the advantage of this engine is the power to weight ratio. Uh, we try to get in the best horsepower to kilogram ratio and at the moment we have a 5.6 horsepower per kilogram and I haven't seen this on the market, never. So it's a brand new design and uh, real new on the market. That's a horse engine for the 201 called. It's a 15 horsepower engine and it's designed for uh, UAVs mainly um, with everything that's in this market needed like throttle servo directly. We have also shielded wiring harnesses um, made to military specifications and there are different options for this engine available like engine mounts or also reduction drives. Um, that's one of these main things what we try to push our customers for best efficiency. It makes no sense to spin the prop directly on the crankshaft with 6,500 RPM. It's better to reduce it and run it with lower RPM and you get more thrust and more efficiency out of the machine. That's uh, the main topics of this machine. There's also a gasoline version here and we have also another option that's a kerosene version out of it. Oops. We have it here and that's our um, engineered, uh, we call it compression wave injection system called iPower where we have the, uh, the opportunity we can uh, vapor kerosene in a resonance tube feed it by hot exhaust gas and it shoot back in the cylinder and the droplets are this fine that you can burn kerosene on a spark ignited engine so you have still the low compression and peak so your vibration signature will be the same than on the gasoline engine. Not like a regular diesel engine where you have high pressure peaks and a lot of vibrations in the machine. So with these small cylinder numbers like two, you still have a smooth running and operating machine.